All right, so we got some news coming out of boxing. Kenny Ellis, who is the co-trainer for Javante Tank Davis, who has a record of 30 and 0, recently did an interview with a uh, Cigar Talk with Najee from Cigar Talk and talked about Shakur. You know, there's rumors. People want to see the fight. I want to see the fight. Y'all want to see the fight. But between him and Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, but we know how politics are. But during the interview, he talked about Shakur and said, quote, they both or they can't be 50-50 if Tank can punch and Shakur can't punch, they both can box. They both got great IQ. Let's say Tank is behind and he got himself out of trouble. That MF or hammer is going to get him out of trouble. Now, let's say Shakur behind and he got himself and he got to get himself out of trouble. Do he got himself? How is he going to get himself out of trouble? He don't got no hammer. So they they are not 50 50. They can't be 50 50. Of course, you talk about how he don't want how tank can't be reckless. And uh, but he got tank winning the fight. Now, I'm gonna be honest because of Shakur Stevenson's last two performances. It don't it, it, that the power, the power part. We're not seeing it. We're not seeing it. Not saying it's not there, but we're not seeing it. So, of course, the odds and even Vegas itself would have Javon Tank Tank Davis beating Shakur Stevenson. And he's right. Tank does have the equalizer. His punch is the equalizer. Just like how Deontay Wilder got that right hand Alabama slammer. It's the same thing for Javante Tank Davis. Now, we haven't really seen Tank behind like that. But, yeah, I mean, he could be behind. It, it could be a flawless victory. And all Tank has to do is, is test Shakur Stevenson's chin. And we don't know. We don't know if Shakur can take a punch. Now, one thing about Tank, whoever goes up against him, while I do think, you know, uh, he can be beat. They gonna you gonna get your chin checked. Some you gonna get your chin checked. We are gonna see how much of a chin you can take. I mean, how much power you can take to the chin. So I, I or even a body. Honestly, look how he stopped Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia wanted no smoke. Uh, af after that second knockdown in the seventh round, took a knee and just he quit. He quit out there. But when it come to Shakur, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, he would have to at this at this point. He would have to outbox outbox Tank all 12 rounds. He can't stand in the pocket with him. None of that. So, and Tank going to be chasing him the whole time. But the moment Shakur stands there, it's over. It's all, in my opinion, until he shows something different. You know, and like I said, I know a lot of people, he's been mad and he's been mad at everybody for giving their opinion. But I'm sorry, man. We, we, we just giving opinions by what we see. And, you know, you going up against there against, uh, Somebody who got power, <laughs> the pot of power he got, it's about to be, it'd be a wrap. But I don't know. I don't know what Shakur going to do. But yeah, at this moment, in my opinion, the fight's not 50-50. I mean, I would like it to be. I would love it to be. You know, and I, and I hope they can make this and us fans, we can order on pay-per-view. But at this moment, yeah, I, I don't think the fight is 50-50. And I don't see what type of power Shakur has. And even even like when he moved up to 130, I'm not, I mean 135, I'm not seeing a power translate at this moment. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.